I got myself into a little bit of trouble on the preview, not last, not last Thursday, but the previous uh, Access Vegas. And that's where that clip came from. But we had a similar conversation on Thursday. And we, of course, posed this question to the ladies on the on the panel, um, you know, would for the right guy for your dream boat, right, for your dream date, for your dream guy, would you give up Instagram? Would you give up your social media? And the response, of course, is it's almost universally the same. So uh, so Brian, from whatever podcast, if you're watching this show and you use that line, understand what you're getting yourself into so you can defend that point when it comes back and it blows up in your face. OK, because what happens is whenever you present that line, whenever you say, hey, would you give up your Instagram? The 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 problem with all that is, well, women say, no, I would never do that. They they get offended that you would even suggest that. That's the question. They get offended that you would ask that question. It's not the concept because the concept never enters their head. But the very fact that you would ask the question, would you turn off your Instagram, turn off your OnlyFans, turn off your Facebook, turn off all your social media. If you found the right bro, if you found the guy who's like, I'm ride or die, man, this is the dude for me. My one, my soulmate, if you believe in that crap. If you found that guy, and I'm not saying he asked you to do that, but if he if you found the guy and you didn't want there to be any like, you know, oh, hell, I don't want him to think I'm looking for anybody else. I'm going to go and just blow off all my social media. Would you do that? And the the number one answer every single time we ask this is of course no but the other thing is they but they have to back it up there's always a rationale because what that question asks is it forces women to confront cognitive dissonance and the cognitive dissonance uh, revolves around how men and women's uh, sexual strategy mating strategies work and i'll explain that here in a month in, in just a moment but the the idea the concept the very fact that roll tomasi or mike sartain or anybody else myron whoever would ask that means you're an incel it's offensive it's literally offensive for women to have to confront that because what will happen is it's them confronting a cognitive dissonance that cognitive dissonance is is this is that it's threatening to not have social media it's threatening to not have a basis for which they can advertise their sexuality and i'll tell you why that is because it's part it's you know it's actually inherent it's like inherent to to women's mating strategy so to question it is forces them to actually consider it 